Hello, uh, this is Charles. Uh, today I've got another kid's tablet with a power issue. It does not power on and I've been getting these tablets quite a lot. So we are going to be diagonalizing this one. It does not turn on. So I usually check these tablets with this current meter before doing anything. Um, when I plug in the charger, you see it takes 14 which is around 140 milliamps but still does not light on when I try to turn it on still does nothing so let's open it and see what's happening inside So usually what I do after opening any device, I first do what we call a visual inspection to see if there is any kind of damage. And this one looks clean. So after visual inspection, uh, we are going to measure the voltage and the battery. This battery has got 0.2. Maybe it's totally down. Let me first remove it. Let me measure the voltage in the battery again. This is 4.063 volts. Remember when you measured when it was on the motherboard, it was 0.2 now, after dis disconnecting it from the motherboard, it is 4. Usually this could mean that this motherboard might be having a shot. So it means the battery has power, but voltage is being dropped by the motherboard. There could be some component that is taking more power than the battery can supply. Now when it comes to shorts, I usually use the multimeter for a start to check resistance. I connect the black probe on ground, red on positive, and resistance is quite high. That's 38 kilo ohms. Let me go into continuity mode. This is ground. This is positive. Looks like there's no show, right? Let me first use a power supply. Now this is the power supply I use. I've set my voltage at 3.9 and what connects this positive and negative on the motherboard. And I'll be just telling you how much current it's consuming because my camera setup cannot navigate from the power supply to where I'm working from. So when I connect black, negative on ground, then I usually use the positive with a pin. consuming almost 230 milliamps it's sad that I can't show it to you live but it looks like this motherboard has got a short eh? let me remove it from the frame I don't see any watermark, I don't see any burnt signs. So what we're going to do, let me solder on the power supply and try to see if there is anything getting hurt. So I've connected it right now. I've given it 0.46 milliamps and let me try to see if I could feel anything getting hot yeah something is getting hot here yeah let me try to zoom in I 
something is getting in my heart. Let me give it more. Yes, there is a shot here. Let me use my microscope. So can you see? I want to make a close. I want to give you a close look. There is something getting hot here. It looks like this chip. Yeah, looks like this small chip is short. It is called nine. 05T. So let's first remove it. <coughs> but before removing it, when I use my meter in continuity, I put the black probe on ground. Here it doesn't seem to have a shirt. Here no shirt. Here no shirt. There's a shot here on this line. Let me see. Another shot. These actually capacitors. Huh? You don't see the big shot. Oh, this line. Let's first remove. I'll put my blower at 330 degrees. Okay, the chip is out. So let's measure again and see if we have any shot. Still. So let's do a close inspection of these cups. Whoa! This cup looks to be broken. Can you see this part? Ay, this part seems to be broken. Could it be this capacitor? Hmm. These other ones look fine. And this is where we got this chip we first took. I think let's first move this capacitor. You see this part which is broken could also be the, the reason why. Could be short inside. Eh? Let's first take it out. It's out. So 
Ele se veja bem. He had his new shirt. He had his shirt. So this car is. So you see. So this is the cup that has been shooting out this motherboard. So let's put back this chip. There is a chip I took out. Let's put it back. Can you see how awesome this this microscope is? Because this chip is very small. With the naked eyes, it's hard to see it. Let's wait for, for the body to cool down. When you actually when you replace a component, it's very good not to, to clean out this paste. Paste cool, uh, attracts dust. So let's see if the chip has connected the properly. Perfect. So this is where we've got the other short capacitor and you see it's out of this power chip. So this is actually at the output. So let's put the motherboard back and test. So let's first measure voltage before we power it on. Remember, before when the, the, the battery was connected, it was showing 0 0.2. Now, after disconnecting the short, the battery can actually show the voltage. So let's see if this, this tablet can power on. Can you see this? <laughs> okay, so this small capacitor was the one that was causing this tablet from power, non powering on. Hmm. Very, very small. So I've been able to detect this using the my, this small microscope, uh, the power supply, and this current meter. Let me actually plug in and see if it can charge. is 29 but because I'm using a USB hardware if I put back into the laptop sorry you can see it's now consuming 0 0.41 amps and there we go the tablet has turned on and it is charging so I'm going to assemble it and give it back to to your owner so thanks guys for watching I hope to see you in the next video if you have any questions you can put them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe because i'll be making more video of this kind okay thank you